Let's take a look at three easy probability questions involving a dice. So let's say we roll a dice and we want to calculate the probability of the first question that we get the number three on the top. Second, we want to find a probability of getting a number which is less than three on the top. And finally, we want to calculate the probability of getting a number which is greater than three. So how do we solve these questions? Let's find out. Now, when it comes to probability, probability, always remember that the most important formula really is what is probability and how do we calculate probability. We know that probability of any event, P for probability, E for event, it is defined as a ratio of number of favorable outcomes for the event. We divide that by the number of all possible outcomes. So let's see how it applies in our example. So we are rolling a dice, right? So what are all possible values, all possible outcomes? Well, we can get the number one on top, we can get the number two on the top, we can get the number three, or we can get four, or the number five shows up at the top, or the number six. These are really all possible values that can show up on the top when we roll a dice. So there are six of them. So the number of possible values, number of possible outcomes, this number is 6. Now let's look at each of these events individually. So probability of getting the number 3 on the top. So let's write it this way. Probability of getting the number 3 on top. In order for us to get this, we really have to roll and get this outcome, right? So how many outcomes are favorable for our event? Only one, right? So we say number of favorable, favorable outcome is one. We divide that by total number of outcome, which is six, and we say this is our answer. Let's take a look at the second question. Probability of getting a number which is less than three. Now let's take a look at our six outcomes. If we get one, does that satisfy our event? Now our event is, getting a number which is less than 3. So if you get 1, 1 is less than 3. So it satisfies our event. It's favorable to our event. What about if you get the number 2? It also works. So these two outcomes are favorable for our event. What if we get 3? 3 is not less than 3. What about the number 4, 5, 6? They are all greater than 3. So none of these work. So the only two outcomes which are favorable for our event, that number is less than 3, are these two outcomes. So we say here the total favorable outcome is 2. We divide that by the all possible outcome. And this ratio simply is 2 1 is 2, 2 3 is 6, or 1 over 3. So this is the answer. Probability of getting a number which is less than 3, that is 1 over 3. And now finally, the last probability is getting a number which is greater than 3. So again, going back to all possible outcomes, now we are trying to find out the probability of getting a number which is greater than 3. Now in this case, we really need to get the outcome either 4 on top or 5 or 6. If we get any of them, right, so then these outcomes, they support our event. That is the number greater than 3. So how many possible outcomes are favorable for our event? 3. So we say this is 3 divided by all possible outcomes, which is 6. Or simply, this will be 1 divided by 3. So this is how we calculate the probability of event involving rolling a 